Hi there, we're really moving along here, so let's take the uh, next step on our journey on the guitar here. We already know um, the first two strings that you're looking at down here, so it's uh, as you look at the guitar, this is the sixth and the fifth string. And as we know from before, um, either from the mnemonic or from uh, the tuning of the guitar um, on the tuner, which will display the notes, but as you remember, one of the mnemonics was Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye Eddie. So Eddie ate, which, which would be E and A, okay? So we're just learning the strings for now, okay? We'll get to the frets later. So E, A, and D. So we're going to move on to D string next, okay? And that is your fourth string. Okay, so your sixth is E, your fifth is A, and your fourth is D. Okay, just like we tuned the A string, when we know when we know we have the E in tune, and we can use the tuner to do that. We can continue with the tuner and do all the strings, or we could go use the tuner to get your E, and then fret on the fifth fret of the E and play the A open and they should be the same. So you do the same for the D. Now you fret on the fifth fret of the A string, which is the fifth string, and you play the D, which is the fourth string, open and they should sound the same. So in essence, this string here, if we were to go from this string to the next string, it's five frets higher in tone. If we were going to go from this string, the fifth, to the fourth string, it's another five frets in tone, right? Let me go over that one more time. If we were to go from the sixth string to the fifth, we are going up five frets. There's a five fret difference between this string and this one. Okay. Same thing is for the A to the D because you're tuning to the fifth fret again. So this string, the fifth string, if we wanted to go to the D, we're going five frets higher. Right. So remember when I talked about um, satisfaction and we could do 7-7, seven, seven, right? And then 7-9-10. Now we could do the same, exactly the same notes on the A string, but because it's five frets higher, then we play, like it's a five frets tone higher, then we play five frets lower. So, the same thing applies to the D. So if we were to do this run, let's just change keys, okay? We're going to do a completely different key, and we did this, right? We're still doing 7, 9, 10, but now we're doing it on the A string. We can now do the same notes on the D string, which again is five tones, five no, uh, frets higher, so we can do the same thing starting on the second. So instead of seven, nine, ten, we could do two, four, five. So here's where we start employing a little bit more um, on the cording. Here is your power chord of your E. We know that that is E, okay? So if we hit the next string two frets higher and play them both together, we're playing an E power chord, okay? If I was to do the same thing, but now I'm not picking this one and this one, I'm actually picking this one, the fifth and the fourth, 
okay? Those two, fifth and the fourth. Now, if I fret on the D string now, on the second fret, and play the A string open, I'm now playing an A power chord. Okay, so again, the lower note tells you what that power chord is. In this case, it's the fifth open, which is A, and then the next string up, two frets higher, gives you the power chord. So here's the shuffle we talked about, but now we're going to do an actual chord progression using the same shuffle. Here it is. Again, it was this beat, and one, and two, and three, and four, 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 and one, and two, and three, and four. Now, do the same thing, but play these two strings. This one here, and that one. Five and four, and you get this, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. So again, we landed and stopped on the number, not the and, right? So let's go back and do that one more time. Two, four, five, four, two, four, five, four, two, four, five, four, switch strings. Two, four, five, four, two, four, five, four, switch back. Two, four, five, four, and two, and four, and five, and four. Now the numbers I'm calling out there obviously are the frets, okay? Now remember, this is the chord, right? And then if we move down to the next two strings, this is the chord. So this is an A, or sorry, this is an E, and this is an A. These other things that we're doing are basically uh, rhythmic devices, rhythmic tools if you want, um, and basically they give you that sort of feel. They are chords in themselves, but they are um, a little bit more than just straightforward um, major chords, and we'll go on. Uh, we'll go over what that is later. So again, And you might be seeing me changing my fingers from going from my first finger to second to third. Sometimes I'm just going from first to third and sliding it back and forth. And basically you're just going to have to experiment. It's very subjective in how you, you do that. But as long as you're getting the notes, that's the point. Anyways, have fun with that and we'll see you at the next module.